Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist, and today I show you how to model walls for interior visualizations using poly modeling. Let's jump right into it. Go to Files, Import, and choose the interior plan. It's DWG file. The file is in millimeters, so we don't have to rescale it as we have the same units in the scene. So just click OK. We can double check if the file we've imported is in the correct scale. We can quickly do it by creating a box or a plane. This wall has 3020 millimeters, so it's around 3 meters. It makes sense. Now I will show you how to edit the plan. We have a plan and view here. We'll need to rotate the view to make it useful for us. Let's choose the splines we have to rotate and find option Detach, which will separate them from the rest as a separate object. Let's name it Front View to make it easier to find it later if we need to. We need to leave the spline option now. We are able now to rotate this part. Let's rotate this by 90 degrees. By using the Snap option, Let's move it down to the same level as the plans. We can move it here a little. Let's freeze the layer so we don't move it accidentally. Now we can start drawing the walls. Go to Create, Shape and choose Lines. Remember to have the option Snaps toggle on. You can see that this option doesn't work if the object is freezed, so we need to turn on Snap to Frozen Object Toggle. OK, let's start by outlining a circuit, but remember to skip the doors and windows holes. Now, let's draw the inner parts, skipping the doors and windows holes. For the next rooms, we can use a rectangle. Choose the vertex, drag by pressing the mouse button and release on the opposite vertex. It was quick. Let's do the next step. I will hide the plans. You can see that all the lines are separated. We need to connect them. Go to Geometry Panel. We can choose the Attach option and attach splines one by one, or use Attach Multiple and choose here which objects we want to attach. Let's choose all these lines, as we want all of these lines to be attached. Click Attach. Now, when the outline is ready, we can use the first modifier. Choose Extrude from the list. We can set the dimensions here. We also extrude the walls just a bit and snap the vertices to our view drawing. To do that, we need to convert the object to editable poly first. Click F on your keyboard to go to the front view. Select the top vertices and snap them to the drawing so we get the proper height. Next, let's do the ceilings. We cannot have more than three lines in one vertex, so we cannot close the object now. First, we have to delete this part. Now, by using border selection, we are able to close them. This is not the perfect method in this example though, as in a polygon modeling, each of the polygons should be quadrangle, so have four vertices. And here you can see that we have six vertices, so we need to delete this one. I show you how to do this correctly here. We can delete the bottom polygon. I hide the DWG layer. Select these two edges and connect them and snap the edge to this vertex. Select these two edges and use the bridge. We need to add one more division here. Select the edges and connect them. To see where the edges are in the top view, you can simply go to vertices. But be careful when working in the top view and you want to check the edges, you cannot just click on the vertex, because you will move only the top vertex, so we need to select both at the same time and after that, move them and snap to the correct vertex. Now we can use the option Bridge to create a polygon and here we can choose the border and cap it. How are you going so far? Are you with me? 
Now the most complicated room to finish. Let's start with the recess. We can bridge this. Here we need to add the connection. So connect option again, snap and bridge. Let's do this well now. So you know the method. Connect and again and bridge. Here we need three additional connections though. You can use shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus E to connect. I turn off snapping for now to make working easier here. I click S on the keyboard. Almost there! One last part. The same method here. Let's connect these edges, snap and bridge. The same here. Now we need to do the additional connection here. And we're ready to use the bridge option. For the last one we can use the cap option. Now I will show you one little trick that will make our work easier. Select the object, right click and choose object properties window. Check the back face cool option. By doing this you'll only see the front side of the polygon. Thanks to this we won't see the ceiling from the top and we're able to see the interior. And if we take a look from the bottom, the ceiling will be visible. Next, we'll create the openings for the doors. We need to turn on the DWG layer again. We have five doors here. Let's select the edges where we want to add the connection. Here, four connections in total. We have edges from one side, but we need them from another as well. If you want to do this quicker, use Ctrl plus Shift plus E shortcut. Ok, now this opening here. The same method. Connect and snap to the proper vertices. Let's work on windows now. You can see from this view that we have one big opening, one smaller window and another big opening. Let's start with the big opening. Let's connect edges and snap them to the correct position. Now, this smaller window. We have all vertical lines. We need to add horizontal now. Let's select all vertical edges and use the connection option. We'll start from the windows. Now, I add horizontal connections for doors. Actually, we can do this another way. Let's use the connection option, but now let's move it totally down with this parameter. So now, the connection is on the 0, 0, 0 position. We can type the Z position value as a 2 meters, as this is the typical door opening size. Lastly, let's cut the holes where the windows and doors should be. What we need to do now is to select correct polygons. If you cannot see the selected polygons in reddish color, you can click F2 on your keyboard. It will let you change your viewport preview. So we have to select both polygons here and choose the bridge option. We have the additional polygon here, but we don't really need this. So let's select it and delete. When we have more divisions, we need to be careful with the order of selecting polygons to be able to use the bridge option. Sometimes it doesn't work. Now we have to delete all these three polygons. We can turn off the DWG layer. 
Now the next doors. The same method here. This is the last one. Let's do the windows now. These are polygons we need to select. If you're not sure which polygons to choose, you can turn on the DWG layer. Select polygons and use the bridge option. Now we can add the additional connection for this window. Connect, snap to DWG drawing. Select polys and use the bridge. It wasn't too complicated, right? If you want to learn a complete set of skills and be able to make a living working with 3ds Max, check out our brand new course dedicated for beginners. During the course, we show you everything from the first time you open 3ds Max all the way up to create your own visualizations. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!